Hello everyone, welcome back. And this is the penultimate episode of this year's To Be A Legend. And can we finish on a flourish? Can we finish higher than we did last season in the Premier League? We're about to find out. Welcome to Be A Legend. Welcome to episode 83 of To Be A Legend. My name's Mark, and on today's episode, we have games against Wolves and Brighton, both in the Premier League. And uh, we will uh, see whether that gets us into a position where we finish higher than we did last season. We have to finish it higher than fifth in order to do that. But how have we been doing since you were last with us? Well, the answer, very simply, is not well at all. You were last with us for the Leicester Manchester City games. A 2 0 win uh, against Leicester away from home. Finley Burns and Haggy scoring there. Uh, Finley Burns getting the only goal against Manchester City in a 1 1 draw. Good result, really. Uh, but then we've come off the rails. Uh, a 2 1 loss to Norwich. A 4 3 loss to Tottenham and a 3 nil drubbing by Liverpool. Um, <clears throat> there's not much I can say, really, other than um, all those games have been away from home. We do have two home games coming up now, so hopefully we can turn that a little bit with the home games. But as you'll see, really, in the last, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games, we've only managed to win three times um, and two draws. So about 50-50, but we've lost half of those games, which uh, has translated itself into the standings in the league, of course, and uh, I think right now we can only get six points. We're not going to make fourth place. Uh, Chelsea are already eight points in front of us, and uh, we're not going to make it. How I'm, having said that, we're also pretty much safe from eighth place, which means we will qualify for the Europa League again uh, this season. Um, <clears throat> as as it stands at the moment, we can't technically finish any lower than seventh place, but one more point will guarantee us uh, fifth or sixth. And actually, um, we need to see how Leeds get on. Leeds are today. They're not playing today, he says. Uh, Leeds are playing tomorrow against Tottenham at home so we'll be watching that result avidly because uh, depending on how we get on today against Wolves will actually have an impact on our final game of the season Wolves uh, past meetings well we've met them on four previous occasions beaten them every time um, as you will see um, mainly in the Premier League 3-1 um, 2-1 last season uh, beat them in the FA Cup fourth round this season, 2-0, uh, and uh, beat them 3-2. Uh, sorry, that was last season, uh, and 3-2 in the Premier League this season so far. So today we hope we can increase that to five straight wins, which will actually give us those three points. Um, I really didn't mean to do that. Uh, give us the three points, which hopefully will mean that uh, we can finish in fifth place, all dependent on how Leeds get on, of course, unless it comes down to the final game of the season. Um, Liverpool could still overhaul uh, Manchester United. That one uh, is a decider at the top there. Manchester United beating Manchester City 4-1 in the uh, Manchester derby and Liverpool beating uh, Newcastle by a goal to nil. So that's how that still stands. Um, three points behind with two games to play. Let's get on with the episode, our first game of the episode against Wolves. And this is the team that we are putting out against Wolves. It is Kovar continuing goal, Arnu, Tabu, Burns and Good Johnson in defence, Avila and Carroll in midfield, Freitas, Haggy and Blakesley up front with Stewart in attack on the bench, Gomez, Beckett, Henry, Flores, Walker, Motondo and Gattasis. That is the team that is going to face Wolves first half next. And here we are. The teams that are facing, as you'll see, lost the last three games. 
Only one once in five, but then so have Wolves. Very similar outcome recently, and that's how the table looks. Wolves down in 13th. Not a great deal for them to play for. Don't think they can be relegated, and we're up and running. Haggy with the ball in, and it's a headed goal, this time from Good Johnson. His first goal of the season, just come into the side, been on the periphery. Um, American teams have been in for him over and over again. And he's on the near post there, and uh, with seven minutes on the clock, gets us in front. Wolves have a corner now, and Koval comes out and collects. Gets it to Burns. Burns to Good Johnson. To Blakesley. Blakesley through for Leighton Stewart. Leighton Stewart because he's going to make it two. He is. Nine minutes on the clock. 34th goal of the season from Leighton Stewart. And Blakesley will take the assist for that. Thank you very much. Very swift. Leighton Stewart running into space. And onside. Goalkeeper committed. And it's buried in the back of the net. Clinical. Wolves coming out from the back. Burns cuts that one out to Carroll, to Good Johnson. Blakesley. Blakesley now cuts it inside to Good Johnson, but he wasn't there. Good Johnson. Oh, it's through to Leighton Stewart, who's wide of the upright. Come to him a bit unsuspected. Sort of unexpected me, really, as well. I don't know if Lewis Potter was trying to pass that back, but Leighton Stewart got on the end of it and didn't make it count. Arno. With the throwing on that far side to Haggy, back to Arnu. Arnu cuts it inside to Taboo. Avila. Avila comes across field. And he was tackled by Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson. Taboo tidies up. Arnu. Long ball in for Lane Stewart. And he's on fire. Got that one away. But offside, I think. On this occasion. There's the ball. But still got the shot away nicely. Maitland Niles, ex Arsenal player there. Dembele. He's given away to Good Johnson. Blakesley looking for Freitas on the wide. Freitas fires it at the goalkeeper and. The goalkeeper's taking it out for a corner. Haggy with the corner. Swings it in and it's Burns heading it right over the top. As we head down into half time, corner from Wolves. And they've got one back through Christian Romero. And they hadn't had a shot up to that point. And have got one back. And we've got to be careful here. They don't get back in before half time. It's looking dangerous. Kovar punches it clear, only as far as Lerma crosses it in. Good Johnson with a header clear, but only as far as Lerma. And we are really creaking at the moment. Blakesley, tidy up now, man. There you go. Haggy on the counter-attack. Haggy goes outside. He's been tackled, but he's still got the ball. Haggy has a, another go. Good Johnson behind him. Good Johnson through to Haggy. Haggy crosses in. But it's headed clear. Dembele comes away with it. Two minutes of injury time on the clock. And Dembele gets clear of Arnu. 
and we're still in danger here and they've got back level somehow or other Lewis Potter commanding lead and we looked to be coasting and we've self imploded here and I think it's gonna take and half time comes very disappointed that Wolves absolutely nothing to this point and then just got two goals from nowhere in the space of two minutes and they've had three shots two of which have been on target against our 11 and four probably needed more of ours on target um, disappointing end to the half uh, really need to improve in the second and we're in a way for the second half Haggy with the corner crosses in Burns I think off the thing good Johnson gets his second goal of the game and his second goal for the season uh, only just come into the side today it's got two he's looking for a hat trick now this one a bit deeper burns against the uh, post good Johnson picking up the leftovers and with just a few minutes on the clock in the second half gets us underway and puts us back in front but uh, Maitland Niles there again Freitas Arnu Freitas back to Kovar no silly mistakes now Burns Carroll have made steely mistakes just recently Blakesley coming forward Blakesley can he get the cross in looking to get that cross in low and Leighton Stewart gets his 35th his second of the game and we are now 4-2 in front but we've done this before been there before and it's all gone wonky hopefully not this time Blakesley lovely ball forward crosses the ball low Leighton Stewart swings at the ball gets it round Consar and Henderson grappling with fresh air Good Johnson now with a throw into Blakesley. Blakesley back to Good Johnson. Good Johnson. He's been tackled, but he's got the ball. Crosses it in deep. And Haggy couldn't quite get it down. Dembele now comes away with the ball. And Zerky Zerkazi. He's in there and he's crossed in. They've got one back again. Lewis Potter. What are we doing? Oh man. Good Johnson not marking his man on this far side. And they have a free kick now. Can they make this 4 4? They can! Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Berate the team. And well, would never have uh, have us having conceded. <sighs> right, seventy three minutes gone. Time for some changes. I think Avila is tired. Sam Beckett going to come on for him. Um. Freitas for Matondo. Just see if we can change the impetus slightly. If 
this is going to be a draw. It's going to be very disappointing. Taboo. Hudson Adoy is on now. Taboo. Long ball. And it's cut out. This is bad news. Hudson Adoy. Saved by Kova. I thought for a minute that was going to be the fifth goal from Wolves and would have been very disappointing. But Kovar getting down for that. And now Blakesley is tired. Flores coming on for him. Good Johnson with the throw in. Throws it in. Carroll comes back, picks it up, tidies up. Can we get a late goal here? Beckett. No more than we deserved. Burns gives it away. And they are on the attack. We're going to have to tackle him. Solomon. Solomon cross it in, but Kovar is behind it. And we've had one of them ghost goals again, guys. Leighton Stewart scoring after 85 minutes. I'm not quite sure what happened. Completely missed the ghost goal. 5-4. It is on the night. How did we miss that? I wonder. Right, let's go to Cautious. I'll uh, work out when that is. We'll have a look at that goal in a minute when game's over. Johnson picking up a yellow card, but that's uh, that'll do. It's a win. It's three points. I'm not quite sure where that goal came from. Can we see that goal? Here it is. Arno Matondo back to Arno. Carroll uh, headed it in, and Leighton Stewart got his head to it, and we won that one five. Four, five, four. So missed completely. Missed that one. Um, as it happens, well done, lads. Good win for us. And uh, I think Leighton Stewart. Very happy with your performance, Haggy. Very happy with your performance, Josh Blakesley. I think he's also. Good performance. Uh, good Johnson. We'll tell him that we didn't, uh, we weren't too happy with his performance today. I think that's a fair shout. And Lane Stewart's dramatic late goal was something for you to save. Or how do you rate that moment? It was no less than we deserved. I don't think it was. Do you think the goal early was important in determining the outcome? It was keen for us to get off to a good start. It was a perfect way to do it. It was indeed. And Leeds still have to play, of course. They play on Sunday. We're now four points clear of them. It's down to how they get on against Tottenham as to whether we finish in fifth where we finished last season. Um, or whether we finish sixth, uh, Norwich still have to play as well. So we'll see how this all pans out. Um, I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to pause for a second, come back with the results from the Sunday games, and we can see how um, the, uh, the, the game is going. You just knew it wasn't going to be that simple. Come on. Uh, so, as uh, it ends up, Leeds beat Tottenham by two goals to nil, which means that uh, they are in sixth, we are in fifth. It's all down to the final game of the season. Bournemouth are moving in front because Norwich actually lost their game. Um, and Bournemouth won theirs by three goals to one against Portsmouth, which puts them into seventh place now. Um, we have qualified for the Europa League. Uh, that was clear, but I think, before um, we played the last game, but we have definitely qualified there now. Um, and as it stands, we are a point in front of Leeds to finish fifth, same as last season. We need to get at least two points 
a win or leads to lose one of the two. Um, but uh, that's what we need at the moment. They could, if they score one and we lose, if they, uh, sorry, draw and we lose, actually we will still be there on goal difference. So that's where it is. That's how it uh, stands at the moment. It's all down to the final game of the season, which is against Brighton and Hove Albion. It's coming next. And you come back and join us just a little bit before the teams because uh, I just thought uh, we should have a quick update uh, for you. And uh, that update is that Manchester United and Liverpool have played their games in hand as of all the other teams. So this is the final set of fixtures for the season. Manchester United won their game. Liverpool only managed a draw against Wolves, which means Manchester United have been crowned as champions. Portsmouth, Nottingham Forest and Leicester are all relegated, uh, which means that... Uh, this is how the table stands going into the final day of the season. Um, we have pretty much got ourselves a, a Europa um, spot. Um, Leeds uh, need to win and we need to draw or lose for them to overtake us. Uh, Leeds are playing Liverpool at home. Um, and uh, Bournemouth, they can't get anywhere near us. Norwich uh, still could get back up into seventh place above Bournemouth if uh, they beat uh, Norwich beat Derby County and Bournemouth lose out to Chelsea. Uh, that's how it all pans out after that. Pretty much nothing left to do because uh, Tottenham can't get in there. West Brom can't get in there. So it's all down to that, really. We can't get Chelsea. It's, uh, it's all pretty much done and dusted apart from that. So... Those are the pretty much the only decisions we could swap with Leeds. Bournemouth could swap with Norwich, and uh, that's how it will be. So it's down to the teams then for this final match of the season. Let's have a look. We have got some changes. Leighton Stewart uh, was injured, and um, he's he's not really fit um, going into this one. So this is the team that we have put together for this one. It's Kovar in goal. Arnu, Taboo, Burns, Lasala's back on that right hand side. Flores and Carroll in midfield. Freitas, Hagi, and Matondo are attacking midfield. Blakesley moves back into the attacking uh, role up front there um, as the advanced forward. Gomez, Tote, Beckett, Gattasis, Froggett, Robson, and Stewart are on the bench. Stewart. Um, who is returning to full fitness Im imminently. Um, he, he's he's OK. He, uh, he probably wouldn't see a whole match out, but uh, 36 goals for the season. He's done his job, really. Um, but uh, we've got him there just in case we need to bring him on. Blakesley, more than ample. Is this going to be the last game that Blakesley plays for us? Who knows? Who knows? Lasala back in. Um, in fact... Good Johnson doesn't even get space on the uh, bench, I've just realised. Uh, I know why. That's because he played in the uh, development, under-23 development side, and um, who uh, actually won their competition. Um, and that's where uh, where <laughs> where the, he's uh, he's actually worn himself out basically. So Lasala back in the side, albeit he was very attacking in that. Uh, I'm thinking I might just risk him. Let's swap Good Johnson for Nathan Froggett. We've got left sided. We've got right sided. Attacking midfield. We haven't got a midfielder in there, though, have we? Let's have a look. What have we got in the way of midfielders? I think you will bring... Right, that's how we're going to set up. Gattasis can move in there. Beckett in there. Move them down there. That's sorted that out. Uh, 
and all done let's go through then to play so we'll, we'll redo the redo the bench having had jiggle around gomez tote uh, henry Johnson, beckett agatis and stewart should have done that all before but hey it's final game uh, final episode uh let's get through to this final game against brighton then and see if we can win and consolidate that fifth place and a europa league place for next season and here we are final game of the season won one of the last five lost three drawn one brighton have won two of their last five lost two and drawn one sean dyche is their manager solanke who uh, can be annoying at times i think he's annoyed us in the past hopefully he's not going to annoy us too much today as we get the game underway and we're up and running Leeds uh, have taken the lead and we've dropped down a place as it stands Brighton with the ball Haggy tackles Arnu Freitas Freitas he's going to get tackled and he has learn Lenez has robbed him he was faffing around and it's a goal from Lenez Diego Lenez after 16 minutes we go a goal behind so Leeds are winning their game and we have gone behind so it's a double whammy Kovar beaten at that near post not something we would expect him to do Arno cuts this one out. Forward to Freitas. Freitas is going to get picked again if he's not careful. Oh, Carroll did get to that, but uh, it wasn't clean. Freitas nearly getting to that one. They're moving the ball around very nicely. Slanky. Leonese. And Slanky gets in. Oh, and Kovar expected him to go near post again, and he didn't. And we are two behind. This is uh, getting to be very disappointing. And Taboo run after Rogers and left Solanke free. And 23 minutes on the clock. We are out of this. As it currently stands, we've got to turn it around somehow. And if we go three behind, we are in trouble. Rogers with the ball. Flores and Flores stands off him. He's going to get the cross in. Kovar plucks it out of the air. Thinking we might need to change tactics here to try and get the best of this. And we're not on it at all, are we? No flow to the ball like we had against Wolves. And uh, they're all over us. Brighton, a little bit of our uh, bogey team. Oh, it's just gone wide. I think that was Rogers putting that wide. Right. But uh, five minutes or ten minutes or so just to play. Let's have a look. Tactics wise, do we need to change this one up?
So that's the formation we're going to change to for the minute. We've swapped that around so that we've got two up front. Haggy tucked in behind Blakesley. We'll see now he's moved over to the right. Haggy with the corner. Haggy swings it in, but Burns heads that one over the top. Not like him this season. Arno with the throw in to Freitas. Freitas to Montondo. Montondo to Flores. Freitas now comes forward. A little bit more impetus on here. Freitas tries to f get one in, but uh, it wasn't really ever on target, I don't think. And half time comes. We have pulled ourselves back into it. Somewhat. Eight shots, one on target against their five and three, but we are two goals behind. And it's not looking promising for us to finish in fifth this season. And you come back and join us. Brighton gets underway for this second half. No changes at half time. And uh, Brighton on the attack from kickoff, which is a bit of a worry. Lasala, close attendance, cuts the ball out. But it's back in the area. And they are 3 0 up. It's game over. But uh, actually might be cancelled out. VAR is going to have a look at this. Taboo is uh, he's complaining bitterly. And the goal is disallowed. It's back to 2-0. Disallowed for offside. Yep, yeah, two of them offside there. As the ball comes in. And Rogers back wheeling. Onside when he headed the ball. But uh, offside when the ball came in. Right, not much doing. I think it's time to bring on Leighton Stewart. We need somebody to do something here. And uh, I had made the changes there, but um, decided actually I'm going to make one other change. So let's change that background again. Freitas for Leighton Stewart. And I'm going to take Lasala off and bring on Gajonson because he had quite a good game against Wolves. Let's see if he can redo that. You have ability to make a difference. Get out there and do it. Let's see what happens. We're underway again. Leads three up against Liverpool. And uh, we're going to finish sixth, I think. Haggy is out of it out there on the right-hand side. Final change then. Haggy's off for Gattasis. Too little, too late, I think. Burns heads that out wide, but uh, it's not going anywhere. Cut out by Carroll to Gattasis as we come forward now. Leighton Stewart is there. Gattasis, is he going on his own? Tackled at the last minute. Goes out for a corner. Gattasis tackled. And it goes out for another corner. Blakesley comes in for the corner. To Gattasis. Blakesley. Back to Gattasis. Carroll. Blakesley. Carroll takes a shot wide. Very poor end to the season.
not going to let me make any more changes, I know for sure. No. So I don't know why it uh, allowed me to do that. It's gone over the top, and it's going to finish 2-0, I think. It is 2-0. We didn't really get going, did we? And uh, we were those two goals down in 25 minutes and never really recovered. Disappointing end of the season. And, uh, well... Simply not good enough, really. Should have won that match. Probably should have had Leighton Stewart on a bit earlier. Um, and so that's how it all ends up. Manchester United champions with 90 points. Liverpool second on 82, having lost to Leeds United. 4-0 in the end um, really pounded them Leeds finishing 5th uh, we finished 6th, 1 place below last season and uh, Bournemouth managing to get uh, they lost 1-0 to Chelsea but I'm presuming Norwich must have done as well, oh Drew 4-4 so in the end Norwich uh, finish in 8th place so Brighton get the better of Charlton again. And uh, send the assistant as we normally do. Leeds book the Europa League ticket. We are in the Europa Conference League next season. So we've not achieved what we wanted to do. Collective bonuses, payouts and so on and so forth. Scouting reports coming in, which we don't really want. Uh, remove that. Get rid of that. Um, so that leaves us uh, pretty much the end of the series. Uh, I'm going to continue playing this one because I quite enjoy the uh, the save. But uh, and I'll let you know at some point or other how we get on um, in. And we'll play probably one more season of this um, and uh, and let you know how things go. Uh, but we'll be back uh, very very soon. Um, I think on Thursday, in fact, for the final episode of the series. And what we're going to do on the final episode of the series is we are actually going to. Um, we're actually going to... What are we going to do? Uh, I know what we're going to do. We're going to have a roundup, an end of season roundup, and uh, let you know how things went for the end of the season. And uh, also give you a bit of a flavour of the sort of players that uh, we're looking to bring in on the transfer market. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. That will keep you up to date with all future episodes of this. Um, one more, of course, on Thursday, and our new series, which will be starting very, very shortly, which is from bottom to the top. Uh, keep uh, watching this channel for news of when that's coming out. Uh, new episodes of, or the only episode of To Be A Legend Left, will be released on Thursday at 4.15pm. And if you want to keep up to date what's happening on the channel, including the new series coming up shortly, then follow me on Twitter, just offside too. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on the next episode. It'll be episode 84, and that's on Thursday. Until then, goodbye.